हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू ग्लोबल ऑनलाइन यूनिवर्सिटी दिस इज थर्ड एपिसोड ऑफ द मॉक टेस्ट फॉर द एन टी यूजीसी नेट एंड सेट एग्जामिनेशन पेपर वन दैट इज ऑफ टीचिंग एप्टीट्यूड सो दोस्तों आई एम वेरी हैप्पी फॉर द रिस्पॉन्सेज विच यू हैव गिवन फॉर द मॉक टेस्ट वन एंड टू एंड दैट्स द रीजन आई हैव कम अप विद द मॉक टेस्ट थ्री एंड आई कम अप विद द मॉक टेस्ट फोर ऑल्सो सुन and uh, friends if you have not watched the earlier mock test uh, the link for those mock test is given in the description and uh, friends uh, why one should give mock test mock test this mock test is for assessing your preparation for ugc net and various set examination if your score is good uh, your preparation is going well if your score is average uh, then uh, you need to work a little on your paper 1 and if your score is uh, really good then you don't have to uh, worry about your paper one and you can go for your subject preparation and for those who have not uh, started preparing for paper one this mock test is mock test itself is their preparation because i will be covering 50 questions and uh, i am planning at least 20 mock tests so you will be uh, get into no thousand questions which are uh, by any uh, uh, metric is good number so If even if you are not prepared, you can give this mock test, and after giving this mock test, you learn 50 questions. So that's the advantage. Now, for our online mock test, you can visit our website, Global Online University. And there we have also posted uh, study material and all the things. You can uh, visit the link in the description. Now, if <coughs> the uh, rules are simple, pause the video when question appears on your screen. I have. avoided negative marking and exam will be of 100 marks that is there are 50 questions carrying two marks each if your score is 80 your outstanding you don't have to worry about your paper one and if your score is 60 uh, your score is good and you need a little attention but if your score is 40 then uh, is in the range of 60 40 then you need to work on your paper one uh, preparation now friends moving on to the question so the first question for today is national assessment and accreditation council that is nac was established in so friends uh, generally there will be one or two questions uh, based on this year of establishment so the options are 1964 1966 1994 and 1996 so the correct answer uh, for this question is 1994 i hope you have answered it correctly so the nac was established in 1994 moving on to the next question next question is indira gandhi national open university was established by an act of parliament in the year of so friends uh, the indira gandhi national open university that is igno was established uh, so the options are 1991 1993 1990 1985 so the correct answer for this question is 1985 the igno was established in 1985 i hope you have answered this question correctly moving on to the next question which is the satellite channel launched by igno on 26th of january 2003 for the growth and development of distance education technical distance education so friends uh, mark this word technical distance education so for technical distance education the options are uh, rajashree channel eklavya channel c gyandarshan channel and d is none of the above so friend generally will go for gyandarshan channel because which is very famous but for technical distance education the igno has launched eklavya channel it is in association with uh, various iits and uh, in between igno so the correct answer for this question is ekalavya channel i hope you have answered this correctly this was bit tricky but i remember for technical distance education the ekalavya channel is the correct answer moving on to the next question which is which of the following article of the constitution of india safeguards the rights of minorities to establish and run educational institution of their own liking so friends they have asked us the article uh, which provides the safeguard to the minorities to establish and run the educational institution the correct answer i'll tell later first uh, we'll see options option a is article 30 option b is article 31 option c is article 32 option 
D is Article 33. So friends, the correct answer is Article 30. So it provides the uh, it provides the minority and uh, authority to establish and run an educational institution of their own liking. I hope you have uh, answered this correctly. This is a very important question. Uh, most of the time questions will be asked uh, in different manner. But uh, remember the article 30 is the correct answer. Moving on to the next question. Next question is National Education Day is celebrated on. So friends, National Education Day is celebrated on the day uh, when teachers day is uh, celebrated but the options as i'll read uh, is 5th january 5th february and 5th august and 5th september so the correct answer as i told earlier is 5th of september so national education day is uh, celebrated alongside the teachers day and now moving on to the next question i hope you have answered this question correctly friends this uh, mock test is little bit hard i hope uh, you don't get discouraged because uh, in exam also there is a chance that you will have a hard uh, paper uh, but as you move to the till 50th question you will find that it was average like you try all the questions and you will find that you have scored a good uh, marks now moving on to the next question which of the following organizations look after the quality of technical and management education in India. So his options are A, MCI, B, C, S, I, R, B, C, N, C, T, E, D, A, I, C, T, E. So the MCI is Medical Council of India looks after medical education, C, S, I, R as <coughs> we know is uh, looks after the uh, scientific research and the correct answer for this question is for uh, quality of technical and management education it is looked after by A, I, C, T, E. I hope you have answered this correctly moving on to the next question next question is which of the following university has adopted the meta university concept so friend this is a new concept uh, that is meta university where uh, hrd ministry has they are trying to test this uh, concept meta university where you don't have to bound to the particular uh, curriculum like it is a mix of uh, credit system where you can have uh, courses from liberal arts and courses from the uh, sciences uh, so uh, this concept is implemented by the uh, options are delhi university assam university hyderabad university and pondicherry university so du that is delhi university has adopted this meta university concept and uh, in future we will see uh, the uh, majority of the universities uh, adopting it uh, according to HRD ministry. I hope you have answered this uh, meta university question correctly. Moving on to the next question. Next question is which of the following institution are empowered to confer or to grant degrees under the UGC Act of 1956. So the options are the university established by an act of legislature an university established by an act of parliament that is central university an institution which is deemed to be university that is a deemed university so all of the above is the correct answer to this question i hope you have answered it correctly because all the state universities central university and the private university are <coughs> empowered to confer degree to the students uh, so moving on to the next question next question is The next question is the first Indian satellite for serving the educational sector is option A is Satedu, option B is Insat B, option C is Edusat, option D is Insat C. So the correct answer is Edusat, uh, that is option C. It is also uh, called Gsat 3 and uh, it is uh, launched uh, exclusively for the uh, serving the educational sector of the India. And the correct answer as I said is Edusat. Moving on to the next question. Next question is which of the following statements are correct about this central university? The options are the president of India acts as a visitor of the university. This statement is correct. The central university is established by under an act of parliament. So this is also correct and if it is act of legislature that is state university and C president has the power to nominate some members of the executive committee or the board of management of the university. So this is also correct. So it turns out that the correct answer for this 10th question is all of the above. I hope you have answered this correctly. Moving on to the next question. Which of the following statements are correct about the distance 
education in India. So first we will see the statement. The first statement is it supplements the formal education. So this statement is correct. Now it reduces the cost of education. So friend, this is also correct because uh, when distance education is there, you can have a lot of means uh, to study. Like uh, I have, as we have discussed earlier, that Igno uh, channel is there, Igleva channel is there. Uh, people can watch those channels and they can study. So it reduces the actual cost of infrastructure and uh, having lot of teachers. Now it replaces the formal education. So this cannot be true because it can't replace the formal education so formal education uh, it has no replacement now it enhances the access to education yes it do en enhances the access to education because uh, people sitting at home or people doing job they can also uh, study or enro enroll to the course and study on the weekdays and uh, sorry weekends and the holidays so the uh, bearing option C all options are there so here if you see the correct answer is C that is A B and D so the correct answer is C now moving on to the next question I hope you have answered this so friends where you have multiple uh, statements all you need to do is read them carefully and try to eliminate one if you can eliminate one uh, obviously like there are uh, a very high chance that you will be able to answer that question correctly moving on to the next question which is the 12th question is put the following units of storage into the correct order starting from the smallest unit and going to the largest so friends they have given the memory uh, sizes uh, if you uh, i'll read uh, all the memory sizes which they have given is first is a kilobyte b byte c megabyte d terabyte e gigabyte and f is bit so bit is the smallest unit uh, of the uh, all the given so if you see in the options a b c d all you have f as the first so th that is okay now the last biggest among these so you know that uh, generally we use mobile memory so mb is less than the gb so gigabyte and the terabyte is more than the uh, gigabyte so last should be d so if you see the options here the correct answer uh, f should be the smallest and d uh, should be the highest so the correct answer is c so it is accordingly i hope you have answered this uh, question correctly uh, all you need to do is uh, read it properly and uh, if you remember at least uh, two three you can arrange them and uh, you will be able to answer this question moving on to the next question given the following email fields which of the email addresses will Swami be able to see when he receives the message? So what happens here? The Swami has uh, received a mail, but he has received the mail uh, via BCC, that is black uh, carbon copy. So friends, remember when you are uh, uh, you send blank carbon copy, then uh, the, that. Uh, <coughs> sender or sorry that receiver will not be visible to the others so in this case swami is receiving the mail but he will be able to see the others here uh, whom he can uh, see is uh, the main receiver then the carbon copy receiver and and he will not also be able to see the blank copy receiver so swami cannot see rama at test.com so th this he cannot uh, see uh, Apart from that, he can see the uh, Ram at test.com, Raj at test.com and Ravi at test.com. I hope you understood this. If there is any problem, you can comment in the comment section. So the correct answer is B. As I said, when blank carbon copy uh, you send, it is invisible even if uh, you are also one of the blank carbon copy receiver. So you, I hope you understood this. The correct answer is B. Moving on to the next question which is which of the following is considered as a major source of pollution in rivers of india so friends uh, options are unregulated small scale industry and b untreated sewage c agricultural runoff uh, d thermal power plant so the correct answer for this the major uh, source of pollution and rivers of india is untreated sewage so i hope you have answered uh, this question correctly moving on to the next question which is deemed university declared by UGC under the section 3 of UGC Act 1956 are not permitted to so friends they have asked that deemed university are not permitted to what the first is to give appellation to any institute of higher education so this is permitted offer programs in higher education and issue degree as we have seen they can issue degree 
offer distance education programs without approval of the distance education council so this they can offer the distance education program but they cannot open the off campus and offshore uh, campus anywhere in the country and overseas respectively without the permission of UGC so the correct answer is D I hope you have answered this correctly moving on to the next question next question is email so friends this is an easy question but if you don't know then it will be difficult so it stands for uh, A stands for electronic mail B stores and stores purchase orders and invoice between the computers C both A and B and D none of the above so the correct answer for this question is it stands for electronic mail I hope you have answered this correctly moving on to the next question hardware is a physical component of uh, computer it includes processors memory chips input output devices tapes disk cables modems so friends uh, it is it includes both a and b so the correct answer is it in, uh, both option c it includes both a and b now moving on to the next question next question is the input devices are the phys a option a is physical components of computer hardware that accepts data and instructions from the user so this is a uh, one option communication between hardware and comp hardware components that results in the transfer of data so this is a uh, usb friends and for uh, option c both a and b and none of the above so the correct answer is first that is a physical component of the computer the computer hardware that accepts data and instruction from the user so this is uh, input device moving on to the next question next question is one byte is a 18 8 bit b 18 bit c 10 24 bit and d 30 bit so friends remember this memory convergence because at least one question or related questions will be asked uh, in the teaching aptitude paper uh, in the section information and communication te uh, technology now the correct answer for one byte it is 8 bit one byte is equal to 8 bit i hope you have answered this correctly moving on to the next question which is one kilobyte is equal to option a is 8 byte option b is 18 byte option c is 10 24 bytes and option d is 30 byte now the correct answer for this question is 1024 byte so 1 kilobyte is equal to 1024 byte remember friends now moving on to the next question i hope you have answered this correctly next question is the much discussed theory dam project is located in which of the following state so friends remember theory dam project is located in the uttaranchal uh, state now moving on to the next question i hope you have answered this correctly the term regur refers to so friends uh, these questions are from the people and environment section the regur uh, refers to uh, option is laterite soils black cotton soils option c is red soil option d is deltaic alluvial soil so the correct answer for the term regur is it is black cotton soil okay friends i hope you have answered this correctly moving on to the next question next question is major objective of education is so friends the major objective of education is option a is reforming the society option b is making student discipline c is developing inherent abilities and powers of students and making students followers of the teacher so the correct answer for this question is developing inherent abilities and powers of students so it is uh, to reform uh, their inherent abilities and powers uh, i hope you have answered this correctly moving on to the next question which is now friends this uh, next uh, four five questions will be on the institutes of national importance and their location i hope you are aware of uh, their locations uh, if not uh, you will uh, learn it uh, with these questions now the first question or sorry the 24th question uh, is national defense academy is situated at so friends the options are khadak vasla pune uh, b dehradun c alabad d chennai so the correct answer for nda uh, is situated in khadakwasla pune moving on to the 
नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इंडियन इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ एडवांस स्टडीज इज लोकेटेड इन सो फ्रेंड्स ऑप्शन आर ए शिमला बी सोलोन सोलन सी धर्मशाला डी चंडीगढ़ सो द करेक्ट आंसर इज शिमला इंडियन इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ एडवांस स्टडीज इज लोकेटेड इन Shimla I hope you have, you know this or you have answered this correctly now moving on to the next question Indian School of Mine is situated at so the options are A Patna B Dhanbad C Kolkata and D Guwahati so so friends the correct answer the, for the Indian School of Mines is located at Dhanbad in Jharkhand. Now moving on to the next question. Indian Institute of Sciences. So this is topmost institute. Uh, if you see any of the ranking, it is the topmost uh, institute uh, recognized in the India and international arena. So the correct answer for IASC generally if you know that uh, IASC Bangalore. So uh, people like it is called IASC Bangalore. So it is uh, located in uh, Bangalore. Now moving on to the next question Indian Institute of Foreign Trade <coughs> is situated in so the options are Lucknow, Dehradun, New Delhi and Mumbai so the correct answer for this is New Delhi Indian Institute of Foreign Trade is situated in New Delhi so friends remember all those institutes and their locations now moving on to the next question Next question is National Institute of Immunology is situated in. So friends the correct answer for this question is it is situated in Delhi. National Institute of Immunology is situated in Delhi. Moving on to the next question. Next question is Baba Atomic Research Center that is BARC is located in. So friends if you know the BARC is located in Mumbai and if you have, uh, I hope you have answered this correctly. Now moving on to the next question which is Central Forensic Science Laboratory is located in. So friends it is located in Chandigarh. I hope uh, you have answered this correctly. Now the location of the important uh, central institution. Uh, I, this question ends here. Now we will move on to the uh, next question. Most students in the medieval universities learn by. Option A is uh, laboratory experimentation. B reading the Bible, C listening to lectures and studying in library. So friends, the in medieval uh, era, uh, students learn by listening to the lectures. So this is the correct answer. I hope you have answered this correctly. Moving on to the next question. Who said that members of the same species are not alike? Options are Darwin, option B is Herbert Spencer, option C is Bell, option D is Einstein. So friends, uh, if you uh, recall the uh, Darwin's theory of uh, revolution or evolution, uh, it has uh, mentioned that the, there that the members of the same species are not alike. And the correct answer for this question is uh, the Darwin. So he said that members of the same species are not alike. Now moving on to the next question. Next question is the process not needed in experimental research is option is a observation b controlling c manipulation and replication and d reference collection so friends in uh, experimental research uh, the least required thing is reference collection so the correct answer is reference collection because uh, the in experimental section you can rely on your own data because it is reproduced by you yourself so you don't uh, actually look for the references in that cases so the correct answer is reference collection now moving on to the next question next question is teacher encounters various problems during his professional experience he should so option is a resign from his post in such a situation do option b is do research on that problem and find solution c is avoid a problematic situation and take d take help from the head of the institution so the correct answer is do research on that problem and find a solution that's what make a a good teacher now moving on to the next question i hope you have answered this correctly validity of research can be improved by option is a eliminating extraneous factors b taking a true representative sample of the population so uh, so friends uh, these two are the correct so the correct answer for this question is validity of research can be improved by both uh, both of the above statement that is a and b i hope you have answered this correctly moving on to the next next question is instructional ads are used by teacher to 
ऑप्शन ए इज ग्लोरीफाई द क्लास ऑप्शन बी इज अट्रैक्ट द स्टूडेंट्स ऑप्शन सी इज क्लैरिफाई द कंसेप्ट एंड ऑप्शन डी इज इंश्योर द इंश्योर डिसिप्लिन सो द करेक्ट आंसर फॉर दिस क्वेश्चन इज इंस्ट्रक्शनल एड्स आर यूज बाय टीचर टू क्लैरिफाई द कंसेप्ट आई होप यू हैव आंसर दिस करेक्टली मूविंग ऑन टू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन सो नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज वाइल राइटिंग अ रिसर्च रिपोर्ट ए रिसर्चर ऑप्शन ए मस्ट नॉट यूज न्यूमेरिकल फिगर इन numbers in the beginning of sentence so this is correct and b must arrange it in logical topical and chronological order so this also is correct uh, research report should be a logical topical and chronological now option c is must compare his result with those of the other studies so you should also look at the related references this also correct so uh, we are left with the all of the above so the correct answer is all of the above moving on to the next question next question is a research problem is feasible only when uh, option a is, it is researchable so yeah this is true if it is not researchable then it is not feasible now option b is it is new and add something to the knowledge so this is also a requirement if it is already discovered and everything is done there is no point of uh, doing research on it this is also correct and it has ut utility and relevance so it, this is also correct now the correct option is all of these so i hope you have answered this correctly moving on to the next question which is the validity and reliability of research will be at stake when so friends uh, when the validity and reliability of research will be at stake so they have given the the author they have given the option option a is the author who is source of information is biased and incompetent and all dishonest so this also a correct if it, if he is biased then you cannot uh, trust the uh, finding now the option b is the incident was reported after long period of time from that of its occurrence so this also is one thing if it is not properly documented at the time of the uh, happening then uh, th there are chances that uh, you cannot have the good results the researcher himself is not competent enough to draw logical conclusion yeah this is also correct now the correct answer is all of the above the validity of and reliability of the research data will be research will be at stake when all of these uh, factors are there now moving on to the next question which of the following is the biggest fresh water lake in india so friends the correct answer for this this is factual question you should know it that ular lake is the biggest fresh water lake in india i hope you have answered this question correctly moving on to the next question next question is the fertility of the soil can be increased by growing so friends uh, this, this is a very common uh, question like uh, fertility of soils can be improved by legumes so legumes have uh, the, the <clears throat> they have the properties of binding the atmospheric nitrogen in their uh, that uh, root nodules so you have learned it in the sciences uh, in the basic uh, primary or secondary education sciences that they have the uh, root nodules which helps in fixation of the nitrogen so the correct answer is the legumes option c now moving on to the next question krishna raja sagar dam is built across the river so friends this also factual question it is built across the kaveri river now moving on to the next question i hope you have answered this correctly which of the following operating system is used on the apple mobile phones so friends apple mobile phones so the options are windows vista b ios c windows xp and d all of the above so friends apple uses their own uh, operating system that is ios now uh, moving on to the next question i hope you have answered the, this question correctly next question is a terabyte is equal to so friends as we have seen the gigabyte uh, is the smallest uh, the smaller than the terabyte so 10 uh, 1024 gigabyte is equal to 1 terabyte i as i already told you uh, i have to memorize all these relation between uh, the different memory unit i hope you have answered this the uh, terabyte is equal to 1024 gigabyte now moving on to the next question which is which of the following statement is not correct about university grant commission so it Uh, we have we have to find the uh, false statement so the statements are a it was established in 1956 by act of parliament so this is correct 
it is tasked with promoting and coordinating higher education this also correct so it receives it receives plan and non plan funds from the central government so this is a, a wrong statement now moving on to the next question i hope you have answered this question correctly which one of the following is different from the other members so friends if you look at the four options a is google b is bing c is uc browser so these three are search engines different search engines and mac is a operating system so i hope uh, uh, the odd member from this is mac which is operating system i hope you have answered this correctly moving on to the next question which is research is based upon so friends uh, research is based upon option a is scientific method option b is scientist option c is experiments option d is general principle so the friends research is based upon the scientific method so if you uh, follow the scientific method then only uh, the, there will be a research uh, i hope you have answered this correctly moving on to the next question research research should be so it should have uh, objective option a option b is valid it should be reliable now friends these all th uh, three should uh, be there in the research so the correct answer is all of the above i hope you have answered this correctly moving on to the last question of this uh, mock test uh, th that is research is always <coughs> is about exploring new knowledge yeah this is true option b is verifying the old knowledge this also is true and filling the gap between the knowledges uh, gap between the knowledges is uh, you know one thing the other thing is known but the in between uh, th there is some vacancy so or some uh, gap so that gap uh, can be filled uh, via research and uh, as all these three statements are correct the correct answer is all of the above so friends this was is i hope this test was good you scored good and if you have liked it please share and subscribe to global online university and please recommend to your friend and i'll be uploading the next mock test sooner in the coming days uh, for that you have to subscribe thank you thank you for watching